Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here. I just wanted to show you, uh, give you a quick overview of Home Habit, which is an excellent uh, Android dashboard for Home Assistant and other platforms. And I wanted to show you how I built uh, the dashboard here, um, which I'm now using on the wall uh, in the family room. And uh, it's, yeah, it's proven to be quite popular. Uh, so what I want to do is run you over how you manipulate items uh, in Home Habit because it's not that obvious. Um, adding and editing items is fairly straightforward. Um, but you um, deleting items, you do run the risk of deleting the entire dashboard setup, which I've done on several occasions. So um, let's try and avoid doing that. So I've got, uh, if you look down here, if you look in settings, I've got a Home Assistant connection. And I believe you can only have one connection with the free um, version of the app. And if you want multiple connections to multiple home automation systems, you need to buy a license, but it's pretty cheap. Um, in settings, we're going to have a look in there. Um, you can actually get extra icon packs, which is cool because it supports font awesome. Um, you can tell your screen to stay awake, which is really handy. Um, and you can import and export configuration, which exports the JSON file, which is awesome. And one very cool thing is that you've got a remote um, config editor. Um, so I'll turn that back on. So you can actually go to that URL, which is what you see uh, on the left-hand side of my screen here. I've actually got the um, config editor URL open in the background. Um, so that's really, really handy for tweaking uh, dashboard items, um, particularly for... Um, the variations for the, the temperature um, sensors that I've got there. Uh, I've got kitchen, lounge, rumpus, office, outside temperature, out, outside humidity. So what you can actually do is create um, different levels. So it's one color when it's 20, another color when it's 25, another color when it's 30. That can get a bit cumbersome to do it in the dash, so it's a lot easier just to uh, tweak that all in the um, the uh, editor, the HTTP editor. Um, so I've got three um, dashboards set up. Um, cameras and my cameras and gates. Um, the gates all down the middle there. And the main dashboard. So what I wanted to do is show you how to um, add an item. So what you do is you click on the, the, the gear icon on the bottom left hand corner. And that will bring you into edit mode. And this is where you can actually change the backdrop. So I'm going to go and just change the backdrop here. This allows you access into um, Google Drive, actually. I'm going to go to My Drive, um, Backdrops, Home Habit. And one of these is actually particularly good. And it's that one there. So you get that to load. Doesn't want to change. Let's try that again. Choose that one. Okay, it's being stubborn. Uh, it does change. Oh, there we go, finally. Um, so we've now changed the, the background. And what you can do is just click away um, from the dashboard. So over on the left-hand side in the blank area there, I'm just going to click there. And that edits. Now that black background that I've just put in there, that makes uh, the icons pop quite nicely. So I'm going to go and edit that again, the bottom left hand corner on the gear icon. And um, we can come over here and we can add, well actually we can actually do it on that third uh, dashboard that we've got there. Now if you click on the uh, up top, we've got an icon and a name. If you click on the name, that allows you to edit that. So um, I could just change that to audio. Save. And I click on the icon. That'll bring up all the icons. And the neat thing here is you've got uh, a search capability, which is nice. So we can change that to a boom box. And we've now um, edited that again. Click away from the dashboards anywhere and uh, those changes are made so now you'll see that we've got a boom box on the left hand side for the audio icon so i'm going to go and click on the gear icon again 
and what I'm going to do is add an item. Now you do that just by clicking on the dashboard that you want to add the item to in the place where you want it uh, located and by default it will come up with a, a one by one icon. Now you can just drag one of the handlebars and resize that. So we'll just set it on one by one and then you click on the plus icon and you get two options. So you can select an item by selecting an entity and home assistant or you can go in and select the widget that you want. Um, I find the best way is to use select item but occasionally I might want to force something to happen so I'll use the, uh, the widgets instead. So let's go and add a um, just a light. So let's type in light. See what we've got there. Um, well, we'll put in that one. That's a light. And that's added. Notice that that's a colored light. And all I need to do is I can change the label here if I want. So by default, it picks up the Home Assistant entity name. Um, but I can change that. Um, let's just call it. Office light. Now you can change the type. You click on that color dimmer switch. So this one is color. And here you can actually have colors. So what I can do is I can get rid of this one. We're just going to add, we're going to go to red. And we're just going to add red. And we'll get rid of the default one. And then we can just add another one. Come down to green. And we'll just add well, dark green like that and choose save and with that one we need to widen the icon we just drag the handle so we can see that once you've done that click on the dashboard outside that and that will allow you to um, put another one in there there's no ability to move i don't yes there is if you just click and hold you can move it i thought you could only do that after it had been created um, but click and hold and away you go and that's also how you delete i'm going to click away on the dashboard and now we've got an office light and we can just touch the red icon to turn that red it tells me it's red we can change it to dark green and if we click away from that oval that will actually turn it off now what i want to do is i want to delete that so we're going to come down and click the edit icon bottom left hand side the corner Click and hold the the entity you want to remove, Office Light, and then a rubbish bin comes up. Whatever you do, don't click Delete bottom right hand side. That will delete the entire dashboard, all of them, um, which is bad. So click on this. We can move that around if we want to. We can resize it, and we just come down, hold it down, drag it down to remove, and that is now gone. So now I'm going to add another item and we're going to do a multiple entity this time. So in this one, we are going to do a sensor. So I'm going to choose sensor and motion's fine. We're going to change the icon to my gate. So let's just choose gate. There's a nice gate, which is awesome. But this is a multi-sensor group. Now what that does, if I go and add a state here and just search for gates. So we've got the beach gate and we add another one. And type gate. The search capability in the icons and the entities is absolutely awesome. Courtyard gate. So you'll see there already uh, if I go and click on it. Now if we come up so basically all the gates are clear at the moment. Now in the urgency, what we can do is we can change that to high and click save. And if I click away from the dashboard anywhere, we now have uh, a gate icon. So um, that tells me that the two gates that I entered are, are both closed. Now I'm gonna go and edit that. So we click the gear on the bottom left hand corner and click on it once to highlight it second time to edit and what you can do is you can um, 
click on uh, show activated when clear and what that will do is reverse the state uh, of those gates so basically um, because we've got high urgency on it's now flashing because they're all clear if I turn the urgency to normal it will just be blue so you can choose whether you want to have the icon blue and unfortunately that's the only color you can have at the moment um, so the icon blue when it's off or blue when it's on um, or if we take that off and put that on high what will happen now is if someone opens any one of the gates uh, it will say instead of all clear it will say one of two and then it will flash red which is super handy um, so we'll go and leave that there and click away and we've now got that uh, entity item there now adding cameras i'll go and do that just going to go and edit we'll go and click in here we'll need to make that a bit wider for a camera click the plus select an item now i've got some proxy cameras so we'll just go proxy we'll get it to it quickly um, and we look at the deck and it's a camera and it does everything for you bang now what i tend to do with the cameras because it's obvious what it is is i remove the name so it's not blocking the image and i'm just going to edit that again and you've got some options for uh snapshot interval so how often that updates so you might want to change that um, depending on how often you want it to refresh and you've also got some options in regards to scaling so we choose that to fit inside the box or crop that looks good and click away um, down in a, an area from the dashboard and we now have a camera if i go and click on that icon it will now pop up a live view so you end up with a nice high resolution live image of that camera so camera integration and home habit is freaking awesome now what i'm going to do is play some music on my uh google home and we'll see what happens to these uh, media player um, icons okay google play rolling stones so <clears throat> i'll just pause that so you get some nice album art um happening there and the name of the artist and the title of the song um and if i go back to my home page i've actually got that down the bottom here as well as a mini widget so what happens with the audio is i'll just come back here what i might do we're going to edit that just drag these icons into the corner give us a bit more room and we're going to tap on that to edit it and as you change the size it changes how the the icon or basically the entity what it uh, how it displays and what it has in regards to features let me delete this one over here down to remove click on it drag it sideways and then tap away and there you go i skip the track so you get some nice cover art so yeah real nice so really really pleased with that last thing i will show you is the editor so we will minimize that down here we'll get rid of that and what we can do is come down and if we look at we're going to pick one of my temperature sensors and here it is here so here is the office temperature sensor which is a radial temperature sensor and i've set thresholds up here so when it's 15 degrees that's the color when it's 20 that's the color uh, when it's 25 da, 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 da. so i'm not quite sure what this um what this code is and how important that is so what i tend to do is i tend to just set up arbitrary thresholds within home habit so just add five or six of them with just random um any color any value it doesn't matter and then basically log on to the http url 
um, which is at port 8284, and then edit them here, and then just click apply. So if I bring this back, we'll come back to, um, so we've got the kitchen one is currently at 25 degrees, and it's orange. So if we, uh, so the office one is at 23 degrees. So if we change the 20 value, so if we come in here and make that, so that was 51, and make that say 180, and apply. Apply config. Now it has changed that now for the office temperature. So that's gone to a teal color now. If I come back and change that, what did I say, 20? We had that on 51. So I'm going to come back and change that to 51. And click apply. Happy to apply that. Drop back into my dashboard. And it's now going to update. And it's back to orange again. So um, that's Home Habit uh, Dashboard. Um, extremely powerful. Uh, lots of icons. Uh, if you're running on a mobile device, you can only have six icons per dashboard. Um, but you can have multiple dashboard pages. So um, I, I find that six icons is, is more than enough. Uh, at the moment, the density, if you go down and, and uh, click on Edit, um, and go to density, that feature is actually not supported yet. So you can't change the number of icons uh, horizontal and vertical, but hopefully that feature will be added. So, um, yeah, a brief intro to Home Habit. Um, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.